bundle love. Let's go right to News Channel 5's Jason Lamb with more on what the city of Nashville is doing as this cold weather approaches. Jason? Well, that's right, Shannon. Agencies across Metro Nashville are gearing up to deal with this cold weather, and they're following the new cold weather community response plan. Now, according to that plan, bed capacity is increasing at Room in the Inn and at the rescue mission. There's people outside making sure that folks outside do have a warm place to stay tonight. That is a part of the official response, but today we met a woman who is using a different approach to try to make sure everyone here in Nashville is warm tonight. You have a frozen sleeping bag, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yep. Have a lot of frozen. Oh, we have Ken. You found Ken. All the fun and games around okay. Connie Alexander's home in Gallatin today <laughs> remind her, she says, of how lucky she is. <laughs> and we can turn around. Kids and their technology. But as her grandkids spend time here, she says it's important to teach them that there's a bigger world out there. And that's what she says prompted a vision she had not that long ago. I could see it, you know, before it ever happened. Connie knew this week temps would be dropping fast. So after collecting donations on Facebook, yesterday she got an idea to add something to a row of trees in downtown Nashville. It was fun. It was exhilarating. It's, it's, it's almost like an adrenaline high to do something like that. Connie says she tied no fewer than 100 coats, scarves, mittens, and socks to the trees along First Avenue yesterday. Connie knows her random act of kindness won't solve homelessness and it won't stop the cold from coming, but it could warm a few hearts. They might not be as cold tonight. That's just the way I look at it. They're, they won't be as cold. It's generosity Connie says she learned from her father, who she remembers decades ago, gave a barefoot neighborhood boy a pair of cowboy boots. He was so proud. Of those boots. Sorry. But th that's where this started when I was a kid. Little Ruby and Ryman may be a little young to comprehend the true value of Connie's kindness. Where's your baby? But no doubt, one day, they will. You know, if only one person were to benefit from today, it, it was worth it, every bit of it. And certainly a lot of people are benefiting from that tonight as everybody here is really buckling down to brave this cold weather ahead. Reporting live in downtown Nashville, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.